Let us go to the Most High. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the wonderful counselor, the mighty I, the great I am. Hallelujah. I came to lift up the name of the Most High. To the one, the creator, the almighty, the I am. He everything to us. Every problem, everything that I could ever think, I know that you're mighty in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We come with thanksgiving. We come with praise on our lips. Hallelujah. We come to give you honor because you were, we lay it at the altar and we give it all unto you. You said cast, give, lay, Give it to you, O oh Father God. And we thank you that we come here with a heart that's not heavy, a spirit that not, that's not broken. We come to give honor to where honor is due, unto the Most High. Hallelujah. This is a time of thanksgiving and a time of praise and a time of giving an offering, a sweet-smelling savor unto the Most High God. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for everyone that is here, everyone that is watching. Father, we give you the glory. It is not us. Fill us up, oh Yah. Pour new oil on us, oh Yah. Fill us up, oh Yah, with new wine. We give you the praise. Forgive us of anything that we've said or done. Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning. Started us on our way on this Sabbath morning in our right mind. And Father, we give you praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We magnify. We glorify. There's nobody like the one. We cry holy unto. We that was slain. Worthy pay the price. Worthy is the lamb. Worthy is the Lamb who was rejected. And we give you honor. We give you glory. In Yeshua's name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory.
mighty hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you're mighty. Hallelujah. You're Oh, 
Maria. one of our battles. He never loses. He always wins. I don't know what your enemy may be, but you've got to know Jehovah is a warrior God. He stands ready. He stands armed to fight for you, to fight your battles. And he says to us, be still and know that I am God. Set aside, I can handle it. I've got it. I've got a power in my hands. The Old Testament speaks of Yahweh's strength, his right hand. That means it's his power. He's a powerful God. He stands ready to fight for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your Jehovah is your name Jehovah is your name Warrior in battle, Jehovah is your warrior in battle, Jehovah. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah, you are a mighty warrior, and you're so great, over. You are a mighty warrior. So great over your name, 
to worry. You don't have to fret. Jehovah is a mighty warrior and he fights every one of your battles. Hallelujah. Come on, let's say that again. You're a mighty warrior.
Hallelujah. 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 He's a mighty warrior. Anybody been in a place that it was real dark? You didn't know which way was up, which way was left, which way was right. But sometimes Hallelujah. When you was all the way down, some kind of way, hallelujah, he reached down and he brought you up. Get the 
devil? Do you have authority? Of Yahshua. Now, in Yahshua's name, I take power and authority over every wiles of the devil, every every plot, every trick, every trap, every pitfall. Hallelujah. I command his works to be paralyzed. Jewish name. You will not the way you came in. In the name of Yahshua. That's if you want it. It's free. It's free about the most. This is free. Hallelujah. Through the blood of Jesus, we are free. Y'all can have a seat. Y'all can have a seat. I don't know if you can hear me. Hallelujah. 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 Let him have his way. a good Yahweh. He is a mighty Yahweh. And there is none like him. Hallelujah. Oh, he keep his promise. Hallelujah. In my study. Hallelujah. Just sort of looking and seeing which way to go with the father. He has me in a place of study. I didn't know whether he wanted me to go there with you, but we're transparent. Hallelujah. And as I was studying and reading, 
um, I said, wow. I said, Father, you, you um, Holy Spirit, I, I need you because I know what I say in my prayer time and I know how I speak in my Bible study, but I need you to speak. Hallelujah. And I met Sprout and was over there and, and, and Luke uh, just getting some other information and fell over there. And I know it was the leading of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach. Took me to 11, I think it's, I'm sorry, Luke 12 and 12. He said, when you come, to, when you get up, hallelujah, I'm just paraphrasing it. <laughs> when you get up and speak, I will give it to you as soon as you get up. Something to that effect, hallelujah. So I got encouraged, although I got some things written here, I'm still gonna be led by the Ruach HaKodesh, hallelujah. And that is our title today. The title is Holy Spirit, which we know Ruach is the Hebrew name. Guide, direct, lead me in every area of my life, for real. I'm gonna say it again. I think I got the, got the Holy Spirit. Lead, guide, direct me in every area of my life for real hallelujah glory now this is an area as i shared earlier of, of study since july hallelujah i've just been seeking the lord on which direction to go for the year or, of what i need to, to grow in hallelujah and he took me right here hallelujah he took me in some other areas but right here is where he's led me to share with you so our base scripture, hallelujah, and we are not going to get through it all today or tomorrow, but whenever, whenever, hallelujah, hallelujah. Our base scripture is from Galatians 5, 13 through 26, hallelujah. That's our base scripture. That's our foundational scripture. And our topic, we're just going to want to be led. How many really for real? I'm not talking about play, play. I appreciate the tongues. God knows I do because it builds up our most holy faith. I appreciate the encounter from the presence of Yahweh. But there's something about being guided, being led. Something about being directed. Because when somebody leads you, hallelujah, that means that you have given them total trust. They can lead you anywhere, and you have to have a trust in them. Hallelujah. All right, so Holy Spirit, lead God, direct me. Put your name in it. I'm Michelle in every area of my life, for real. We're going to talk a little bit about the Holy Spirit, what he does and how he does it. But first, before we really get into Galatians 5, let's go to John 16, 13, and 15. Real quick about the works. Real quick. Real quick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning to everyone. I'm sorry if I didn't say good morning. All those that are watching, good morning. Welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything has is subject under the leading of the Ruah HaKadosh. That was not flesh on parade. That was just Holy Spirit. And we know how to just yield, however way he want to move. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So we're going real quick to John 16, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, 13. And it says, when the spirit of truth comes, I'm sorry, I'm reading out of the New Living NLT, New Living Translation, so it'll read a little different. Hallelujah, verse 13. He will not speak, no, excuse me. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak of his own, but will tell you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. He will bring me glory by telling you whatever he receives from me. All that belongs to the Father is mine. This is why I said the Spirit, Holy Spirit, will tell you whatever he receives from me. That's one of the roles and the works of the Holy Spirit. Okay, there's many more, but that's just that one. 
And I'm really talking to the body of Christ this morning and those who are and those who want to be saved, we definitely want you to listen. We will definitely want you to hear. Hallelujah. And those that are not filled with the Holy Spirit, seeking to be filled with the Holy Spirit, really wanting the Holy Spirit, real quick, go to Luke 11, because you can ask. You don't need to do seven steps. It's just from Luke 13, and I'm not making fun of nothing. But the Bible, I, I'm learning how to follow the Bible. Hallelujah. Luke 11, 11, 13. This is how you receive the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Luke 11. Hallelujah. Okay. Luke 11, verse 11. Your fa you fathers, if your children ask... For fish, do you give them a snake instead? Or if they ask for an egg, do you give them a scorpion? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give you? Give, I'm sorry, how your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who him. That's it. That's how you receive the Holy Spirit. Just ask him. Now we know that, but that's for those who want to know how do I receive the Holy Spirit. Or we might just be out and about one day and somebody want to know how do we receive the Holy Spirit. We can take him to Luke 11 and 11. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, Luke, yeah, 11 and 11. And share with them. It's, it's, you don't have to do any type of calisthenics. Just ask. And he will, he will give you the Holy Spirit. All right. All right. So that's we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit. Now we're going to go back to Galatians 5. We're just going to take a walk. We're going to do a little, just really study. And we're just going to talk. Hallelujah. By the leading of the Holy Spirit, just teaching. Hallelujah. I know I pray, but I'm just going to yield further to the Holy Spirit. Even now, Father, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. Thank you for this time. Have your way. Hallelujah. Move by your spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you for what you're going to do with we, your people, through the word of Yahweh. Thank you for Holy Spirit bringing an understanding and enlightenment, giving us the truth. Hallelujah. In Yahshua's name. And as we take this word, we apply it to our spirit, our soul, and our body, that it will transform our very lives in Yahshua's name. Hallelujah. Verse 13. Hallelujah. Our topic is what? Holy Spirit, lead, guide, direct me in every area of my life for real. All right. So here we go. Verse 13, chapter 5, Galatians 5 and 13. For you have been called to live in freedom. We're just going to break this down line by line. For you, put your name there. I have a tendency of when it say you and they and people, I put my name there. I personalize the word. Hallelujah. For you have been called to live in freedom. You've been called. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to do anything because it's already yours. It's already your freedom, liberty. Some of the Bibles may say liberty, but it's same thing, freedom. My brothers and sisters, but don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Now, I, we got a freedom. We called into the freedom. There is liberty. But that is not your ticket or your free ride or your ticket to pass go, pass jail and go straight to go. That's not your liberty. That's not your ticket for its sinful nature. That freedom is not for you to do what you want to do. And then go back and repent. Now, you can repent. Don't get me wrong. 
But we're not talking, we're talking about the freedom, the liberty. Hallelujah. Because we have that area of freedom that was given to us through Yahshua Christ and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We are free. So that means that I cannot tell you what's on my mind in an anger tone, upset, sinful, cussing, fussing, kicking, throwing. Because I'm free. Because I'm saved and filled with the Holy Ghost is not my ticket to tell you all and be all right with it. There's a problem. We, can we be real? For real? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So to satisfy that freedom is not to satisfy your sinful nature. Paul is saying instead use your freedom to serve one another. Um, serve one another in love. So switch it. That freedom is to love. I am to love my brothers, to love my family, not just in my skin tone family, but all brethren, all sisters, whether they're saved or not. My freedom is to love you, not in my own way, because that is all messed up. So I have to love you through the Holy Spirit. It has been given to me to do so. Hallelujah. In freedom. Hallelujah. Freedom. Our liberty is not a license to sin. It's not a license to, again, telling people all. I have to watch my tone. And I've asked the Holy Spirit. Penetrate my tone when I talk to people. Oh, I'm for real about this. He, I got to be directed by the Holy Spirit. I have to be led. I have to. Hallelujah. So you, we know each, you know you. Self-examination, that's all it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as the Holy Spirit is here to do it, all right, back, go back in. It says to serve one another in love, in love. We are commanded to love one another. Hallelujah. We are commanded to take care of one another. Whether I have a need or not, just to make sure you okay. Hallelujah. We are family. So we are to check on one another, make sure everyone's okay. That's the freedom of liberty. That's the freedom of love. Hallelujah. I mean, not just in these walls, but outside. And when we do it, let the people feel the love in us. Have you ever had anybody do something for you and you knew it really wasn't out of love? It was just out of maybe title or, you know, want to be seen. I don't know. Y'all can pick that up when somebody's doing something and it's not from the heart. You can pick it up. So you have to, we have to do this in love. Although it's in the New Testament, real quick, let's go to Leviticus 19 and 18. I wanted to show it to you there. Leviticus 19 and 18. And I know I haven't given this, but I'm going to, we're going to use 17 too. Okay. New Living Translation reads like this. Do not nurse hatred in your heart for any of your relatives nurse nurse y'all know what it means to nurse okay for your any of your relatives confront people directly so you will not help so you will not be held guilty for their sin it's okay to confront but speak the truth in love. Don't confront them in your sinful nature because nothing will work. Okay. 18. This is where we're going. Do not seek revenge 
or bear a grudge mm -hmm. against a fellow Israelite, but love your neighbor as yourself. And Yahweh, this is a commandment. This is one of the commandments. Do not seek revenge to bear a grudge. I used to be the queen of it. Holding a grudge, boy. Woo, woo, woo. Yes, it's not attractive. And it doesn't benefit anybody. Okay. We're talking about freedom to love. Love your neighbor. Love each other. Love your family. I know relatives can really work you one side up and one side down. But we're not talking about your flesh. We're talking about being led by the Spirit. Being led. That liberty, although it's liberty and freedom, we still need to know how to constrain it. We still need to know how to walk in it. Hallelujah. We're going to go back to Galatians. Bear with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Hallelujah. All right. So for the, we talked about love. Use your freedom to serve one another in love. So we really have to grasp that. License. My freedom is in my love. When I'm able to love you, I'm free. When I'm able to love you, it's liberty there. That's your strength. Because I'm not loving you through my flesh. I'm loving you through the spirit. There's a freedom in that. I'm experiencing it. In my 63s, I'm experiencing oh, to love in the spirit. There's nothing attached to it. You, and guess what? You don't have to love me back. It's okay. I don't have to look for that. Hallelujah. Because I'm loving you through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Very re rewarding. And I'm going to call him out. Many, many years ago, Prophet Curtis told me, loving people is liberating. I'm just getting it, Prophet Curtis. So your seed, it landed on good ground. Oh, it is liberating. It took a couple of years. It's okay. Hallelujah. <laughs> but it's okay. It's going to happen, Terry. <laughs> but no seeds. Hallelujah. On good ground, glory. Hallelujah. I'm thankful for that because I struggled with love. <laughs> I struggled in love. Hallelujah. But I'm freedom. The freedom is in Christ. The freedom is in the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit who will guide us, direct us, and teach us. Hallelujah. But guess what? You got to ask. You got to want it. You got to ask him. Hallelujah. All right. For the whole law can be summed up in this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. We just read that from Leviticus as well. But if you are always biting and devouring one another. Okay. Biting and devouring one another is opposite from love. Are you always argumentative? Are you always biting and devouring people? Are you always destroying people's character? Is it always negative? There is no love there. You are fooling yourselves. We are fooling ourselves. The Bible says, use your freedom to love one another. 
Hallelujah. But if you are always biting and devouring one another, Paul says, watch out. Beware of destroying one another. That's another thing I would do. Because of I might, me being sensitive, I would work on trying to destroy somebody else's character. Oh, it was ugly. But Yahweh came in and showed me different. I'm going to say this because this was in my spirit last night. Marriages, stop it. Devouring biting, hitting below the belt on another. I didn't say not have any disagreement. I didn't say that. But you all are filled with the Holy Spirit. You are led by the Holy Spirit. So you mean to tell me he can lead you in one way, but when it comes down to your marriage, relationship, supervisors, you ain't led? We are led. Holy Spirit, lead, guide, direct me in every area of my life for real. Nobody's getting that attention but your flesh. I'm not saying the Bible said be angry, yes, but sin not. We go past, we get angry, and we go overload. That sinful nature will take us right over there to devour, to destroy somebody's life. And I want to say this. This is how I got arrested, too. The Holy Spirit told me, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So when that ugliness comes up, check your heart. Check your love. And when you're in an argument and you hit below the bell, check your heart. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. This Holy Spirit. Now, this is my study. This is how I'm studying for the year or however long it takes. We're going to get this together. Hallelujah. I'm going to get it together. All right. Verse 16. So I say... Let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. Let the Holy Spirit guide, direct, and lead our lives. Then the sinful nature, because you know you got two natures inside of you. That old school cartoon where you had the devil on one side and the angel on the other. It might have been a cartoon, but it was true. That sinful nature, and then you have the spirit man living on the inside of us. Hallelujah. So it says that if the Holy Spirit guides your life, if the Holy Spirit guides your life, he's waiting right there for you to ask him, guide my life. Guide it. And you won't do what your sinful nature craves. And a crave means to feel a powerful desire for something. That crave, that flesh wants to be, uh, do what it did before you got saved. It's got a craving for it. That flesh want to crave, Ooh, I want to cut somebody out real good. That's a crave. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I be, a, a, you know, I'm the, I, I have to be real. Hallelujah. That symphony, for real. Hallelujah. That crave has a yearning to roll your eyes or tell somebody off. And even if you don't curse, oh, there's a way to tell somebody off without cursing. That's the sinful nature. Oh, my goodness. That's a crave. Oh, the flesh, the flesh. You know, we're going to look like who we feed.
whatever we're feeding is going to show up. Whatever we're going to look like it. Whatever spirit we feeding, sinful nature or spirit man. Now, I'm not going to say that when you're in an argument that it won't rise, but because we have allowed the Holy Spirit to lead, guide, and direct, he will tell you, walk away. I don't care how loud you're yelling and screaming, he'll tell you, let it go. When you hear that, let it go, that sinful nature will rise up because he want to be on top. It'll be on top. He don't want, it, want you to do what the Holy Spirit, that's a war. War. Hey, glory. It's a war. But if you feed in the Holy Spirit, you'll hear him because you'll he'll check you. He'll quicken you. And you'll stop it like, okay, um, we, let's put a pin in this until later. You know, and you walk away. Holy Spirit, lead me, guide me, direct me <laughs> in every area of my life, for real. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh my goodness, hallelujah. The sinful name. But he is a liar, because we're allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us, guide us, and direct us. As of this day, what's today, the 13th? August 13, 2022, write it down that your spirit man is the one going to lead God direct in every area. So yeah, you're going to be challenged because you might have some type of thing go on today, but you said, Holy Spirit, lead me, guide me, direct me for real. Show up. Hallelujah. I'm going to read this. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of the spirit wants. And the spirit gives us desires that are the opposite of what the sinful nature desires. The Holy Spirit, so they back and forth. Look at this. These two forces are constantly fighting each other. Which one in our lives is winning? Which one is winning? Self-examination. All right, real quick, let's go. Lord, help me. Okay, Romans, let's go Romans real quick. We got to walk Romans out. Romans 7, Romans 7, Romans 7. Hallelujah. The war is between the two natures. And the law that was given, the law of Moses, they were good laws. They instructed, they directed, they, they kept you, tr tried to keep you cent centered, but it could not deal with that nature. It could not change the nature. Oh my goodness. So we're going to Romans 7, 14. Okay. This Paul talking. So the trouble is not with the law, for it is a spiritual and good. The trouble is with me. Wow. The trouble is with me, for I am all too human, a slave to sin. I don't really understand myself. For I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate, but I don't do, um, I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate. But if I know that what I am doing is wrong, this shows that I agree that the law is good. So I am not the one doing wrong. It is sin living in me that does it. Wow. 
and I know that nothing good lives in me. That is in my sinful nature. Real quick, so Paul, and I know we say in Paul, but we try to do good, start out doing good in the course of the day, but that sinful nature will come up. You done said something, you done thought something, you done thought the thought out, you worked the thought out, because that sinful nature has rose up. You didn't go intentionally trying to do it, but in the course of the day, that sinful nature stands up. So we, at that point, have to recognize and find and rebuke, apply the blood of Yeshua on the mind, on our ways, on our conversation. We have to, when we realize it, because we realize that now I'm in the flesh. So even if you do walk that out, repent. Go to the person and even repent. Excuse me, I was out of my way. I spoke out of turn. I, 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 I was out of character right there. So ex ex expose the devil day by day and let him know, no, you're not going to be the strong man in this battle. Holy Spirit is the strong man in the battle. Hallelujah. We're going to stop right there. I, t I know. Mm -hmm. Romans 7. I encourage you guys to read that. Romans 7, 14 through 25. We will cover that um, tomorrow. Um, and I love you. Let me turn this over to Apostle Grant. Turn this over to you. <laughs> okay. Hallelujah. We do thank Yahweh for all those that listened all those that were a part of uh, the media, the, the television, those that are watching. And at this time, hallelujah, we ask, are there any prayer requests? Y'all can stand. Eric, okay. Apostle Moses, Franklin Goodwin, Johnny, Sister right there, Danielle, the Grant family, Pastor Tap Copeland family, hallelujah. Hayes, the Hayes family, okay. Olivia, Sister Olivia Wider, Metz, Thomas Jacobs. I see your hands. Okay. Jackson. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Melissa Rivers. All right. Hallelujah. Okay. Anyone else? Who? Schools and colleges. Hallelujah. 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 Um, against the gangs. Murder in spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. I saw a hand. Okay. Amen. Um, so in my prayer, even down to seeing who would pray today. Sister Nikki came in my spirit. Um, so we're going to ask you to pray. Hallelujah.
The Spirit said, intercede for others more. It's intercede. Something he want to do in intercession for you. So they form that up outside. Huh? Intercede for others. Hallelujah. And I release the spirit of the anointing of an intercessory upon your life. Intercede me. Intercede me for others. Hallelujah. Grandma, uh, your grandmother, Miss Grant, intercede, Nikki. You have that anointing. You have an anointing to intercede. Hallelujah. And it just hit my spirit as you were praying. Hallelujah. Glory. And watch the door. It's going to open. Intercede, Nikki. I can't let it go. Intercede, Nikki. Intercede. Whatever you hear, hallelujah, hallelujah, intercede. You're not in that place for a reason. You're not in that place accidentally when you hear something. Intercede, intercede, hallelujah. Go in the word and find the word and pray the word over it. Intercede, Nikki, and watch the doors unlock for you. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, so we're to the point where you, uh, for um, the cash app, yes, sir. Sorry, I done skipped all of that. Forgive me, forgive me. <laughs> it is time for tithes and offering. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, all right, tithes and offering time. Coming with the um, tithes and offering, the cash app information is on the screen. You can mail it. You can cash app it. Hallelujah. And we give Yahweh the praise and the glory for it. Hallelujah. pray over the office. Hallelujah. Today for joining our service and tuning in. Y'all have a blessed day.